Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Romani. Today we're talking about how you're gonna change your life. And that's exactly why I haven't uploaded a video in about two months because my last video, I was talking about how I'm changing my life in 2024 and that's exactly what I have been doing. So I haven't really had the time to, well, I won't say I haven't had the time, but I've just been allocating my time into really changing my life in other ways. And I'll update you all in future videos, but today is really just about you. I'm going to give you actionable steps that you can start taking today. I know that when we think about changing our lives, we think that it has to be some grand production and it really doesn't. You can get started today with the steps that I'm gonna give you. But before I give you the actionable steps, I want to tell you about something called the 48 hour rule. It is when you are like listening to a video, like maybe a self-help video or a business podcast, you implement at least one thing that the person is saying in the next 48 hours. So if I told you to to do backflips and that was going to change your life you would start doing backflips in the next two days in order to change your life i know that i'm not going to tell you to do that but you're going to start implementing at least one thing you may not do everything that i'm saying today but at least implement one thing in the next 48 hours because that's how you're going to make real change too often we procrastinate we say oh i'm going to do it later don't do it later because when you start putting things on the back burner it doesn't get done and if you're new here i'm a personal trainer hence why i'm in the car right now because i'm about to go into the gym and train in about 25 minutes so we have to speed this on up but that's the first thing i'm in my car recording right now so this is not the perfect setup stop waiting for things to be perfect too often i talk to people and they're waiting for the right moment they're waiting for the perfect day the perfect time life is always going to be lifing life is always going to be up and down you're always going to have a bill due you're always going to have something to do something is always going to be going on if you are waiting for a moment when there is nothing going on and you know you just have all the free time in the world you're going to be waiting forever and you're not going to make the changes that you want to make now i personally don't know what you want to do but I know that if you're waiting for a perfect moment that perfect moment probably will not come it might come I'm not gonna say it, it's never gonna come but you you waiting on something that we don't know if it's coming or not so you have to get started changing your life today and like I said I don't know what you want to do but let's just say the the skills that you have the talents that you have are going to help people in the world those people do not care that you are not perfect when we are seeking somebody to help us in a certain area of our life we don't care if they're perfect or not I know that you've probably seen YouTube videos and the person it's like oh i'm sorry my hair isn't done and in your head you like girl i wasn't even looking at your hair i'm trying to listen to your message so nobody cares if you're perfect or not they care can you help me so do not wait to be perfect or to have perfect circumstances because all people want is to know that you know what you're talking about and that you care and i don't want you to delay the progress in somebody else's life because you are waiting on a perfect moment in your life the words the actions the habits that you have can help other people but you you're not helping those people because you too stuck in your head thinking that they worried about things that they're not worried about nobody cares if your nails aren't done nobody cares if you don't have the perfect setup people care can you help me if you can help them get off your ass and start helping them and then you also have to stop feeling sorry for yourself too often i hear people like with the woe is me mentality and I'm not saying that our feelings aren't valid. We all done been through something. I, life be lifing for me every day. No matter what, what it looked like on the camera, life be lifing. But I can't just give up just because life is life. And I can't say, oh, this person did this to me. My family did this. It doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, nobody cares. I don't want to say it doesn't matter because the society is sensitive these days. But I'm saying it doesn't matter because whether or whether not you choose to take responsibility for your actions the world still goes on so even if you're blaming somebody for your success or the lack thereof the world is still going to go on so even if you're like my grandma didn't do this my granddad didn't do this my cousin did this to me the world still moves on and nothing changes why live in a world where you can be successful 
and, and not in like you choosing not to be successful you know what i mean i feel like my words are getting jumbled but like i'm trying to say why would you live in a world where there is so much abundance that can be handed to you and like you could really live the life that you want to live but you decide to blame everybody else for your success and just live a a mundane regular as life that you hate like why do that when there are other opportunities out there for you to live a life that you love if you just take responsibility for your actions and you say okay if I want to lose weight I know that I have to get up every single day if I want to do certain things I have to read a book I have to listen to a podcast you have to do these things it's nobody else's fault now it may have been their fault that you got here yes like actions lead to certain consequences like things happen and sometimes it really is another person's fault that you are in the situation that you're in but you have the power to take yourself out of that situation you have to want better you have to think you know how can i be honest with myself we really got to start being honest with ourselves and we have to start telling ourselves the truth is it somebody else's fault or are you just not doing what you need to do do you need to cut out distractions do you need to limit certain things do you need to avoid certain people do you need to change certain habits what can you do because at the end of the day no matter what anybody has done to us we we are in control right now like we're in control right now no matter if your boyfriend broke up with you your girlfriend broke up with you you are in control now so what are you going to do with that control and at the end of the day you really just have to believe that you can change your life you have to believe in yourself society profits off of you not believing in yourself society profits off of you feeling insecure and i see it every single day especially on the internet when they're selling y'all things that obviously don't work but you're so insecure you're so desperate that you just buy everything and you know you expend all of your energy whether it's financial whether it's emotional like you give all of your energy just because like you don't believe in yourself in order to change your life you truly have to believe that this is possible and i know sometimes things do not look possible especially it, it, is this a man right here this is why i can't be recorded in the car i be getting nervous i'm sorry that just really threw me off you have to believe in yourself because that's the only way that things are going to get done and oh i know where i was at i know that it's easy for us to not believe in ourselves because of our circumstances you may think this isn't going to happen for me because i'm broke or i'm homeless or you know i don't have any family my um my sibling passed away like i know that life circumstances may make you feel like this is not going to work out but we live in a universe where there are infinite possibilities there have been so many things that have happened in my life and it doesn't show it, I don't show it because it just doesn't matter at the end of the day because I know that those things cannot stop what I'm destined to do. I still believe in myself wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly no matter what happens to me because I know that that's just going to be a chapter in my book. It's not a setback. When I write my memoir and I'm telling y'all how I overcame so much shit, that's just going to be a chapter in the book. It's not going to stop me right now. So do not let your circumstances make you believe that things cannot happen for you. I've seen the tables turn for so many people. The tables have turned for me this year. Like when I told y'all I was about to change my life in 2024, I said that in January, my life has changed drastically in the past two months. Like my businesses have been better than they ever have. I started a yoga business. That shit be sold out on Saturdays. When I say like, because if you're new here, I moved to LA almost three years ago i started my yoga business last year and you know my yoga classes they were cool at first but then like of course i don't know everybody in la especially since i'm not from here so i'm relying on word of mouth i'm relying on social media and nothing was really working out for me and when i say this year as soon as i said i believe in myself i believe in my business and i'm gonna get this done sold out classes and all the time my friends are like this is crazy like it was five people in your class last 
class here and now it's 40 people in your class you know what i mean so do not let your current circumstances dictate where you will be in the tomorrow things can change tomorrow but you have to believe that they can change and don't look at anybody and think oh this person is really lucky yes some people are lucky but sometimes the person that you think is lucky actually just works their ass off and as far as me i know that my mindset helps me a lot but also like my spiritual practice helps me a lot so praying and just believing in myself helps me out so much so never think that it's luck sometimes we are praying all day and it just finally happens for us but faith without works is of course dead so we pray but you also have to put that action behind it before this video ends i really want you to remember that only you can stop you when you realize that you hold the key to an entirely different life you're gonna change everything is gonna change for you because you're gonna know that you hold the power what are you gonna do with the power thank you so much for watching this video i'm so glad to be back on youtube after like i said an eight week break i'm not gonna commit to uploading weekly just because I'm, I'm doing a lot, but I really hope that I can get more videos out for you all. And if I be doing them in my car, I really can't get them out. Because when I do them in my house, the ring light has to be set up. And like, it, it's just too much. But if I can do them in my car, I definitely will get more videos out for you all. But I just thank you so much for watching this video. And I pray that this helped you out. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video.